Good evening and good night and welcome to the ATR Perspective Talk Show every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 8 p.m. until. My name is David, a.k.a. Kimba, a.k.a. Christian. Soup is on a special assignment tonight. I just want to say that this is the ATR Perspective Talk Show. Uh, we do have a telephone number, 340-201-9005. You can also text us on a number as well. But most importantly, you have to go to our website, streaming live from the vi.com. Go to that website right now, click on the tab on the top that says Watch Us Live. And you'll be able to see the show tonight because we do have some special special guests in the studio. If you're too shy to call or text, hit us up on our email, streaming live from the VI at yahoo.com. The email will pop up right here, and I'll be sure to get your comment and your question on the show tonight. Uh, we are in the high-tech, low-tech studio, coming to you from an undisclosed location here in St. Croix, Virgin Islands. No radio or TV, internet only, which means you have to get your iOS phone, your Android, your uh, your tablet, your iPad, your Mac, or your Windows PC. Open up your browser, type in streaming live from the vi.com, and you'll be able to see the show tonight. Uh, all our recorded live shows are on YouTube and Ustream.tv. Uh, we have two Facebook pages. I definitely want to give a super duper shout out to CHS Class of 1982. That's the year that I am representing. But most importantly, I want to uh, give a shout out to all our past guests. Thanks for being on our show. We're on Twitter. Uh, hit us up at VI Perspective. They're moving straight forward and up. The show's mission is just to inform, entertain, and empower everyone. And I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors, Maggie's Party Decor and Supersonic Computer Services. Go to our website and get the contact information uh, for our sponsors. Uh, Maggie's Party Decor, uh, if you have a wedding, a party, she can do the decorations. And Supersonic Computer Services, uh, they help uh, with our Wi-Fi and our internet and all the million cables you see running around here to help us with that kind of stuff. All right, so as we move on here, we're kind of rushing through this because our guests have just a, just a short amount of time, so let me bring them up right there. There they are right there. <laughs> Wave to the crowd, the entire world, planet, universe is seeing you guys right now. So how are you guys doing? Doing yeah. very well. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, Thank you, David. Man. Yeah. So tonight we have, uh, I guess, the director, and uh, we have the full cast. Uh, we just have, uh, I guess, the director in the middle, uh, Opal, uh, Palmer Adissa, correct? Yes. Okay, and uh, you guys introduce yourself. I couldn't put everybody's name up there, but introduce yourself. Yeah, um, I'm Tyson okay. Anderson. Uh, I play Ringo. Okay, and you? I'm Tony Manuel. I play the manager, Mr. O'Keefe. Okay. All right, and I'm Opal Palmer Adissa. I am the director of Smile Orange, which is a Caribbean classic, which is playing at the Caribbean Community Theater that is celebrating 31 years. So CCT has been in the community for 31 years, and as part of that celebration, this is their final show for the season. They are doing this classical play, classical play, uh, Smile Orange. Many of you are probably familiar with the movie, uh, but actually it was a play before it was a movie. It's written by Trevor Roan. And because it's a Jamaican play, it needed a Jamaican director, and so I am directing it. And I'm very happy to be doing it. It's, a, it's an important play that is set in the 70s in Jamaica and that examines tourism and its impact on the workers. And tourism is a part of the Caribbean, including uh, St. Croix or the U.S. Virgin Island, so it's very appropriate. And also, I think the characters, Ringo, um, who is played by Tyson here to my left, and Mr. O'Keefe, who is played by Tony here, I think um, people who come to the show will be able to identify very much with it. And before I go on, I just want to say that uh, I invite you to buy your tickets. We're going to be playing this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and we have a matinee on Sunday at 4 for those people who like to come out for matinees. And then we'll also be playing the following weekend on Saturday and Sunday. No, sorry on Friday and Saturday at 4 p.m. And I'm hopefully Eight Dave will, 8 p.m. And hopefully David will put that up. And it's at the Caribbean Community Theater, which is in Orange Grove. And you can buy tickets online at www.cct.vi.vi. And there's a number which will give you um, to, to uh, call for more information. So it's been a real pleasure for me uh, directing this play, particularly with the cast. I have a very talented local cast, so you also want to come out and support these actors who are giving their time. Um, 
who are developing their craft and giving their time and showcasing um, this important play. And so, as I said, Smile Orange is a comedy. You're going to laugh. You can't help but laugh. Um, uh, Mr. O'Keefe, you know, plays this middle class new manager and he will talk more about his role. And Ringo is what we would call a con man. But to say that he's a con man is, is, is to really limit his character and he can talk a little bit more about his character. Let me just give you a little background for me. I just when I was coming out of my teens, I happened to be in Jamaica and I met Trevor Roan. And that was 39 years ago and it never occurred to me that I would be directing his play 39 years later. And so it's a real honor for me to be directing this play, a play that I've seen many times in Jamaica as well as the movie. I understand the movie was a very popular year and played for a very long time. So those of you who are of a certain age, you will remember it. And the, the play follows very closely to the movie. And I would like to say that my directorial uh, input adds a, a lot more merit and, and punches the lines in a way that um, you will very much enjoy. So let me now turn to Tony, who's playing Mr. O'Keefe, so he could speak a little bit about his character. I play Mr. O'Keefe, the, the, the manager of the Mako Beach Hotel. It's a, it's a small resort, and probably a, a two-star, hoping to be a three-star, or a one-star trying to be a two-star. But it's, it's a very hard-working hotel. There's, there's, there's a hard-working staff, and, and my job is to make sure that I, I whip this staff in shape and get them to doing the right thing. So I'm, I'm, I'm but I'm very excited. Um, I'm excited about the play. I've, I've had fun learning my lines and getting straight and learning my character and doing all the character development. So it's been, um, it's been a good experience. It's, it, 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 like I said, or like Opal said, we have a really good cast, and um, I'm looking forward to having you all come out and enjoy the so show. So if I could ask a question, are you, are you Jamaican? No, no. Okay, so <laughs> you're just playing a Jamaican. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> He's playing a, a middle-class Jamaican with a British accent, and I think he will give you an example of that. Because, you know, you're, you're talking about just at the crossover between a very British education, which middle-class Jamaicans would have had, and um, working class. So what you find is with Tony and with Miss Brandon is a, is a kind of um, a range of accents that happen from those who are of you know, from the rural area and more working class to those who are middle class. And so, Tony, do you want to give them a line, a short line? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a line, uh, I say, Ringo, I know what you, I'm what, I know what you waiters do here. I know the hotel. You can't, you can't pull the wool over my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know you waiters don't like serving black people. <laughs> okay, okay, I can hear it there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, he does, and, and he has worked very hard to develop that. And of course, the play deals, that line that Tony just um, delivered, is important because the play deals with issues of class and race and, you know, the issues that uh, people have, the waiters have about serving black people. And Ringo's character, who is the lead character of the, the play, and who is the... Starman, what would you say about your character? Well, to speak on it, I, I, I actually had a lot of fun getting into character. I mean, they give me a lot to play with, and his character totally different from me, naturally. So, like I said, that was a lot of fun to play with, being a ladies' man and lying to people and tricking boy for his money and whatnot. That was all fun, man. Like, so, you, you obviously are not Jamaican. No. So you sound like you're from right here on St. Yes, Croix. Yes, okay. Bon here is okay. Here, yeah. okay, yeah. okay, okay. But he does very well in the play doing the Jamaican accent, and I imagine he will give you a little snippet right now. I love black people too, you know, sir. There is no one to me like my black brother and sister. I'm very conscious, very conscious. At the same time, I don't differentiate. I love white people too. 
Okay, okay. <laughs> that's, that sounds Jamaican to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so it's, it's really, it, what's also particularly interesting for me in the play is the dynamics between the characters. So you have the dynamics between Ringo and Mr. O'Keefe, and then the other three characters who are going to come on in a little bit and talk about the play. You have the, the dynamics between them also. So Mr. O'Keefe and Joe, Miss Brandon, who is a receptionist, you know, uh, Ringo and... Curtis, who is the, the bus boy, and it's just, you know, the, what makes the play, I think, so fabulous is the interaction between the characters and the way they bounce off each other, okay. you know, and that's where the punchlines really come in. Okay. So if I could ask a quick question, so you guys are first-time actors? This would be my third play. Okay. And what about you? Um, this is my fifth fifth play okay but the interesting thing is that i've i never did any acting until i moved back home to st croix okay okay and this one has by far been the best experience for me okay like, so you guys you opened you had auditions and how did that work we had auditions um i two of the actors i had worked with before ringo was um one of the characters in my play last year out of control and so was miss brandon but we had audition cct and for people who are interested in theater then they really need to go on the website and find out more about the caribbean community theater which has regular auditions throughout the year this is the end of their season but their season begin in november in november and they always advertise on the paper and on their websites for auditions so people in the community who are interested in in acting, that's a place to bite your teeth, so to speak. Okay. But for this play, Smile Orange, I just want to, for those people who are looking before we switch up, that it's, it's the shows are this Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. promptly and Sunday at 4 p.m. at the Caribbean Community Theatre in Orange Grove. And then next week at uh, Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m., you can buy your tickets online www.cct.vi Okay. All right, thank you. Uh, um, and, you know, yes, it's be, uh, Smile Orange. Just come out and see it and have a really good time. All right, so we're going to take a quick break, and then we're going we're gonna to bring on the other three actors in uh, Smile Orange. So we'll be right back. Stand by.
All right, all right. We are back. This is the ATO Perspective Talk Show every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 8 p.m. until. Today is uh, Wednesday, June 16th. My name is David, a.k.a. Kimba, a.k.a. Christian. Soup is our special assignment tonight. And so we made a quick switch. And so now we have uh, Opal with three other, three other cast members. There they are. Wave to the crowd. You guys are streaming out to the entire world, planet, universe, Mars, Jupiter, and all that good stuff. So how are you guys doing? We're doing good. All right. So uh, from left to right, tell us who you are. Uh, Michael, I played Joe, one of the waiters in the hotel. Okay. I'm Opal Palmer Odisa, the director. <laughs> okay. They insisted that I sit with them. <laughs> yes. I'm Curtis. I play Cyril, the boss boy. Okay. And I am Sasha. I play Miss Brandon. Miss <laughs> Brandon. The receptionist, okay. Okay, so for those people who are just joining, let me just give you the context. This is Smile Orange. This is three of the cast members of Smile Orange that is currently um, playing at Caribbean Community Theater. And it's this Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. And Sunday, a special matinee at 4 p.m. And then the following week, Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. And for information about the Caribbean Community Theater and purchasing your tickets, which we encourage you to do in advance, you want to go to www.cct.vi. And so the play, if you missed the first half, is um, by the classic, is by Trevor Rohn, the classic play from Jamaica that was made into a movie. And that was very popular during the 70s and evil 80s. And we are doing it at the Caribbean Community Theater. It is a comedy. It is full of laughs. It's set in Jamaica, but it's applicable to St. Croix and any Caribbean islands. And these guys have been worked and have worked very hard in terms of their accents, developing their Jamaica. <laughs> And accents and developing their characters. So I'll let Joe tell you the character he's playing and give you a snippet of a line and talk about his character a little bit. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Um, again, I play Joe, one of the waiters in the hotel. Um, Joe, I would say, is a very grounded individual. Um, he keeps everything together. Um, when things start to go bad, you know, Ringo is, you know, my best friend. He makes a lot of trouble in the hotel. And I'm the one that has to bring him back, you know, to keep him, you know, again, grounded. He's like, he's like a uh, kind of artist, as what they would say. So I'm the one that, you know, hey, Joe, you know, Joe, hey, Ringo, you know, cool <laughs> out. You know, um, oh, this is work that we're doing. You have to make sure that, you know, you follow the rules because we don't want to get in trouble. You know, we worked hard. We worked it for a very long time. So, you know, we know better. But he tries to act like he doesn't know any better, but he knows. So that's basically, you know, who I am. Um... Let's hear, let's hear a little accent there. Okay, so one of my favorite lines is towards the end of the show when I'm actually scolding Ringo for making rubbish again. Um, so basically it's, Is you ask me, how was I to know it was for two land sharks? Master, I have my children. If I lose the work, you going to take care of them? Tell me. You shake up everything, man. <laughs> yeah. So I, I take it you're not Jamaican. I'm not. Wasn't <laughs> <laughs> that bad? No, I'm, I'm just asking. I'm just no, asking. I'm not. I'm not. I'm originally from Minnesota. Okay. Um, yeah. First so. time, first first uh, stage play? No, this will be my fifth show with CCT. Okay. Fourth, and then the third one for the season. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Yes, and so then the other character who has the greatest transformation in the play is the bus boy played here by Curtis and Curtis can tell you about the bus boy yes. and I'll uh, give you a little snippet. Yeah. Oh, good evening, St. Croix. I'm <laughs> Curtis. Um, the bus boy grew up in Clarendon. It's a poor place in Jamaica and he got an opportunity to go to work at the Mocha Beach Hotel where he met Ringo who, um, who showed him around, who teach him stuff. And during the play, you could see he started as a timid, nervous, shy person. But in Act 2, he graduated and become confident. And he did stuff that he never thought he would be able to do. He also met, he, he also met somebody, Miss Gladys. <laughs> <laughs> who, who I think he probably um, went away with and probably had a, a good life abroad. And I will give you a little line, but you're probably are too short, so. <laughs> give them, it's okay. okay. You don't want to give them too much. You want them to come to hear oh, okay, it. Okay. okay. okay, okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Fuck it, some sweetness. 
It's one of my favorite lines by him, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> actually it is. So he plays, you know, this uh, busboy who has a lisp yes. and who Ringo teaches the ropes about how to, because, you know, you can't just survive on the salary of a waiter. You have to get tips and you have to do some other things. Okay. And so Ringo teaches him the ropes. Yeah. And he is a, he's a quick learner. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> That. And then the other character, the only female in the play, Ooh. is Miss Brandon. <laughs> and I will have um, Sasha tell you about that character. Again, my name is Sasha. I play the character of Miss Brandon, and she is the receptionist at Mocha Beach Hotel. <laughs> yes, so she's a young, smart lady who's trying to get ahead in life, and she gets hired at this hotel and she works for the for the hotel and her boss is the assistant manager and she isn't too happy that she's working with him because he's very snubbish <laughs> <laughs> however her goal is to seek a better life and her being coming from Jamaica you know she's trying to get a permanent visa to start a better life you know, so that's basically, you know, her goal in the play. And I do want you guys to come out, support, yes, you know, go. support the arts. And can and you give community. us a little, <laughs> yes, and the community, can you just give us short line from your, your character? Girl, you know how long I've been trying to get to America and get a permanent visa? Mm-hmm, intrude. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a little bit. Welcome Beach Hotel. Good morning. May I help you? <laughs> and the, the wonderful thing about her character is that, you know, she goes from deep Jamaican to this proper receptionist uh, accent, and Sasha does it so well and a lot of other things. So um, this is the cast of Smile Orange that is currently playing at the Caribbean Community Theatre, and the play is going to be occurring for two more weekends. Yes this Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. promptly, and Sunday at 4 o'clock matinee. And then the following Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m., you can get your tickets online at www.cct.vi. And you can also call, what's the number for CCT? Uh, it's 718-1983. So it's 340-778-1983. Am I correct with that? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one of the numbers. No? Well, no, no. I see the numbers here are 340-778-1983 oh. and 718-4229. Okay. okay, could you say those numbers again? Uh, because everyone might not necessarily want to, you know, call, uh, go online and buy tickets. Okay, so the numbers are 340-778-1983 or 340-718-4229. All right. And so that's Smile Orange. And let me just say a couple of things, and, and then maybe they also want to chime in. It is important that we support the arts, number one. So you need to come out. You need to make the show be sold out. You need to buy your tickets in advance. Please, please. You need to tell your mama and your papa and, and your, your auntie and, and everybody, and all the people you <laughs> don't even talk to, you need to tell them all. You need to understand that in order for us to develop as a society and continue to advance, that we need to support emerging actors like these who take time out of their lives, out of their very busy lives, to hone their craft and to invest time to do this play. And these guys have invested a lot of time, and I just want to say how proud I am of them oh, and what a pleasure you. it has been to work with them on this play. Likewise. I mean, they worked hard in terms of the, the accent. And then the Caribbean Community Theatre has been around and serving the St. Croix community for 31 years. Oh, that nice. is a formidable a track record. <laughs> and so we invite people to come on out and support the theatre. And, you know, follow the website and make sure you know what's going on, that you look at the auditions for next year, and that you, you know, make suggestions in terms of what other kinds of plays you might want to see. I think that we're very open to those kinds of things. So, Smile Orange, I'm the director. Um, it's this Friday and Saturday 
at the Caribbean Community Theatre in St. Croix and it's at 8 p.m. and Sunday at 4 p.m. and this, uh, these are three members of the five cast um, production. So thank you very much. One quick, so that, that's it, this, this is it? This is the, the, the whole entire uh, cast for the Yes, no? it's yes. the entire cast for the, sh the show. Well, actually, we have two walk-ons. We have um, someone who plays uh, Mrs. O'Keefe, Ringo's wife, who comes and scandal the place, bangarang, as she says. Bang and then we have someone who too. plays Mrs. O'Keefe's. <laughs> Uh, who c just does a walk-on. So okay. there are those two other characters. And then, of course, we have Michelle, who's our wonderful uh, floor manager, and both Mikes, I don't remember their last names, who are our light and sound man. Yes. And we also want to thank them. So it's a team. It really takes a team for theater to happen. It takes people who are committed and dedicated and who are volunteering their time. And many people have done just that. I also want to give a shout out to Danica David, who has loaned us two of her own art pieces for the show and for everybody else who have loaned us things. Um, and Brian <laughs> and other people who have helped with building the set, you know, just want to give a big shout out because it really takes a village to do theater and lots of people come um, volunteer and give their time to hold it down so that when you come, you're in a nice environment and you're also being entertained. And I guarantee you, you will we'll be, be entertained. entertained. These are some wonderful actors, and they really have, have owned the role, and they play it very well. Okay. And with that so being powerful. said, we also want to thank all of our sponsors, and if you would like to support a future show, you can also make contact with CCT and also Miss Eileen. Yes. Eileen Bishop, yeah. With her, we're always looking for sponsorship. It's greatly appreciated. And if you have any shy actors out there and you want to come and try your try out, you should come. Bring them out. It's it's fresh faces. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's All right. It. Yes. That's Smile it. Orange at Smile CCT. Orange. Thank you. <laughs> we're smiling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want to thank you guys for coming through the studio real quick. This is a super short show. I guess you guys are going back to Rehearse some more? Yes, yes. of course. Yes. Okay, okay. So I want to thank you guys for coming out and then uh, spending at least uh, 40 minutes with us. Uh, much success in the show, and uh, I'm going to try and get over there, not this weekend, but the last weekend, uh, either Friday or Saturday, I'm definitely going to come through there and check it out for sure. Perfect. All righty. Thanks for having us. All right, I'll man. Make sure I put your name at the door. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So I just want to say that real quick. This is the It's Your Perspective talk show every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, <laughs> What else can I say here? Our website is streaming live from the vi.com. Uh, what else? Uh, we're in a high-tech, low-tech studio. And uh, that's about it. We'll see you guys uh, tomorrow night. we got another show lined up. We're out. Peace.